Sup everyone, this is Draco Evolve back yet again with some Manchester United latest transfer news today and this is just in. So breaking news, Harry Maguire to Manchester United is on for £70 million. As you can see, Sky Sports are reporting this. So I'm just going to read you out the transcript. Manchester United have moved ahead of their rivals Man City in the pursuit of Harry Maguire. After upping their bid to £70 million for the Leicester and England def defender. Maguire along with all the other clubs other international was not in the group who returned to begin Leicester's pre-season training schedule on Monday at the Belvoir Drive training complex complex. It is not yet known if the England defender will join teammates on Sunday when they head to Evian Les Bons for six days training in the French Alps. Talks between both the Manchester clubs and Leicester have been ongoing for several weeks but as yet a deal is yet is still thought to be some way from being agreed. United's chances of landing Maguire may be influenced by City defender Nicolas Otamande, who was expected to leave the Etihad this summer for Atletico Madrid. However, he may reconsider his decision after the departure of Vincent Company. Maguire is understood to be happy at Leicester and will not attempt to force a transfer, but is open for a transfer. Leicester's position has always been that they are, have no desire or need to sell and will only consider in a bid excess of £75 million world record fee paid by Liverpool for Van Dijk. However, they welcome the prospect of two big clubs bidding against each other for one of the prized assets. assets. So there you have it guys, Harry Maguire to Manchester United for £70 million. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, how does that sound to you? Personally speaking, as I said in my previous Harry Maguire video that I covered a few days ago, that he is better than what we have for sure. I mean, he's great in the air. He's got leadership qualities. He's premiership proven. And he can bring the ball out of defence. Now, if we sign him, I'll be happy with it. And the back line should look like this. Bissaka, Maguire, Lindelof and Shaw. And obviously De Gea. That back line is, is pretty solid in my opinion. They just need to mould with each other, play with each other. And I hope that we get this done ASAP so that going into next week's pre-season, he'll have time to gel in with the team. I reckon if we sign a defensive midfielder, a proper defensive midfielder, our defensive problems will be solid. So there you have it guys, £70 million. Pound. I mean, it's a lot of money, £70 million. Pound, and I'm sure we can get a lot of better defenders for that price. But I reckon other clubs are across Europe is a bit iffy. Heck, Maguire is clearly gettable. He's clearly obtainable. And we should go for him. It's simple as that. He's an England uh, um, centre-back first team choice his premiership proven great in the air awesome in the air i love his aerial battles I love it how he attacks corners defense corners and he can bring the ball out of defense something that we are not very good at hopefully hopefully that is true um this week i hope we get this done asap center back position is a big big thing i hope man city does not go into a bidding war they don't really need need him to be honest they got john stones laporte mendy i believe as well who can play there and of obviously otamendi yes they lost vincent company but don't think they'll spend another 70 million pound on their already awesome defense so i would love to have harry Maguire if that's the only option out there realistically for us and it will be a great signing for us and defensively it will be solid you know we will become solid we can move past it now um sell a few players sell a you know rojo is still there damian is still there bai is still there jones and smalling i understand they just signed the contract but at least rojo and uh, bai should be the one that's getting kicked out to recoup some of that cost back and that's it guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i'll catch you guys in the next manchester united update